Our ability to ignore distractions declines from a high of 82% when younger, average age 26, to a low of 56% when older, average age 67. There's no better illustration of this than your grandmother driving a car. When changing lanes on a freeway, she might nearly scrape the car next to hers because she was suddenly distracted by an unexpected slowing of the vehicle in front. She might underestimate the distance between cars when parallel parking, or become distracted by the raindrops on the windshield in bad weather. These are all toxic distractions. Processing speed doesn't help either. As the brain shifts into a lower, slower gear, it begins to choke on the amount of driving problems it can address. Since no cognitive Heimlich maneuver exists to rescue yourself on the freeway, slower processing becomes a dangerous fact of life. It's the leading reason people quit driving when they get older. You may want to continue to operate a motor vehicle, but your brain has other ideas. I am pleased to report that playing a few simple lab-designed games has powerful far transfer effects on cognition as long as you play them the way the researchers intended. Let me describe one well-designed study employing a very simple speed of processing game. Imagine you're in front of a computer screen when two images flash suddenly and briefly into view, one in the center, one on the side. Your job is to answer questions about the experience. What object was in the center? What was on the side? Where on the screen did the peripheral images show up? In the true spirit of gaming, the better you get at answering these questions, the harder the game becomes. The images appear on the screen even more briefly. Pesky, distracting images show up. Your speed and accuracy are measured throughout. A group of researchers from Johns Hopkins and the New England Research Institutes were interested in the effects of this training, not only on processing speed, but on possible effects on the chances of coming down with dementia, which is about as far a transfer effect as you can get. The researchers gathered a cohort of cognitively healthy seniors, average age 74 years, and was christened the ACTIVE, Advanced Cognitive Training for Independent and Vital Elderly, study. The cohort was randomly assigned into four groups. One group did nothing, the control. One got training to improve memory, and one got training to improve reasoning. The fourth group was exposed to the processing speed game for 10 sessions, each about an hour long over a period of five or six weeks. A random sampling also got booster exposures around one year and three years later. The researchers then sat back for 10 years, waited for the cohort to reach their mid-80s, and looked for signs of dementia. The results were a bombshell. At the end of 10 years, people in the processing speed group were 48% less likely to get dementia than any other group. That's astonishing. For one thing, the subjects were exposed for less than a day's worth of total training, yet the effects echoed with a cognitive sonic boom 10 years later. That's what I call far transfer. For another, subjects in the group who'd received training to boost memory showed no improvement in those skills, essentially a waste of time. This puts into stark relief the strength of the positive findings. This result has yet to be replicated, but it's still amazing.